Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you saw by the title already, we are going to be doing the long awaited, what everyone has been asking me for, four years, and I don't know why it's taken me so long, my hair care routine. <laughs> so hopefully you guys are excited about this. I'm excited about this because I really do wanna share with you guys everything about my hair since you are so curious, it seems like. I just wanna share with you everything that I know and that I've accumulated over the years of dealing with my curly hair. This is going to be a long video just to let you know. So if you wanna get like a snack, some cookies, a drink, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's gonna be a little long, so let's get comfortable. <laughs> I just really wanna make sure I give you guys all the information that you guys have been asking and wanting to know. So I'm hoping that I cover all of the bases in this video and yeah, hopefully it's good and informative. So, and not too long. <laughs> By the way, if you see me looking at my phone a couple of times throughout the video, that is because I wrote some notes and I wanna make sure that I have all the information that I have stored in my brain put out into this video. So I kind of want to go in like an order somewhat so I can keep some sort of structure in this video. So I want to talk about um, the first section being about washing my hair. So I wash my hair typically about two times a week. I used to wash my hair every day for a while, for years really, but then I realized and learned more about curly hair and it is better to not wash your hair as often as you can. So two times a week I would say is still kind of a lot, um, but I'm training my hair to do better and to have to wash it less, if that makes sense. So comparing two days a week to every day definitely made a difference for me, but I'm still trying to train my hair to do better. When I am showering, I will go in, obviously do my business everywhere else, and then I will wash my hair using uh, the Function of Beauty shampoo and conditioner. So I wanted to give a shout out. This video is not sponsored by the way, but I am obsessed with their products. I've been using them for months now. They do send me their products, so I work with them a little bit, but on this video, they have no idea I'm making this, so I just wanted to let that be known. <laughs> but Function of Beauty is definitely my favorite because I have tried other products since then and j nothing has worked as well as Function of Beauty for my hair. Basically, Function of Beauty, if you don't know already, is a personalized, customizable hair care line. So I have the shampoo and conditioner, also a hair mask, which I'll talk about a little bit later, but um, it's really fun because you go on the website you put in your hair type, your hair care concerns, the fragrance you want, the color that you want the product to be, and you come out with these really fun little bottles. So these are the smaller size bottles and I decided to go with pink because pink is kind of the vibe right now that I'm feeling, PFG. And yes, I'm really, really loving these and they do come with pumps as well. So they're easily accessible and convenient in the shower. These are just new and I wanted to show them to you guys before they get all ruined. But yeah, I love this product so, so much. It has all of my hair care needs and concerns included into it, so it is formulized, formulized? formulated. <laughs> it's formulated for my hair, which is really, really nice. And you can definitely feel the difference with these products compared to other products, in my opinion. So definitely worth the money. Love this. And I just wanted to share because I think personally, since I have been trying to find out what works for my hair for years and years and years, um, this has been, I feel like the lifesaver in my product of my in my products <laughs> I feel like this is the lifesaver in my hair care routine so I definitely wanted to give a huge mention to these products and as I mentioned I also have a hair mask from Function of Beauty so this is something that you are only supposed to use for my hair care needs at least only use about once a month or once every couple of weeks or so just depending on how your hair needs it so I don't have like a ritual or anything like this I kind of just go in with as much as I feel like whenever I feel like. So I would say usually it is close to a, once a month, but yeah, it's really, really nice and it comes in the cute little bottle. I don't have it with me right now, but I will put it on the screen as you guys probably already saw. And that is also formulated for my hair, so it works really, really well. And I usually put it pretty much on the ends and I leave it in for longer than it's supposed to be, but with hair masks, I do that usually anyways because I just feel like it can get the maximum treatment into my hair for the maximum amount of time, if that makes any sense. So yeah, really like that too. And then when I get out of the shower, I wanna talk about styling. There are two different ways of styling my hair that I'm gonna talk about. The first one is on wash days, how I style my hair, and the second one is how I style my hair is on non-wash days. So when I'm styling my hair on wash days, I will get out of the shower, I will brush my hair, yes, brush. Usually with curly hair, you're supposed to comb, and I probably should, but it's just so much easier and I feel like it works okay for me either way. So I use the wet brush, I think it's like the original brush or something like that, and I just go through and I brush all of my hair until all of the knots are out, and then um, this is why, while my hair is still pretty wet, I would say. Not dripping, but it's not damp. So I'll go through and comb all of my hair, sorry, brush all of my hair, 
and then afterwards I will part it down the middle pretty much how it is right now I don't have like a definite middle part but I'll part it down the middle and then I'll bring all of my hair to the front and I will put the hair oil in that I'm about to talk about the hair oil I go in is the hair oil I go in with is also a function of beauty and this is the hair serum of course customized and personalized for me it has my name on it so I really really like this oil because it just feels like it's really nourishing and hydrating for my ends especially because I focus it mainly on the ends and I put this on when my hair is wet you can do it either way I like to put it on when my hair is wet because I feel like it soaks in the most amount of product um, and then dries the product into your hair. So I feel like this works the best for me. And then, um, yeah, I'll just put that in the ends. And I really, really like this because it just smells really good. It feels really good. And my hair looks super shiny and feels super healthy. So I have noticed I've gotten way less damaged and split ends using this. Um, so I'm really, really happy about this product as well. And then after that is said and done, I have to go in with a styling product, of course, um, because otherwise, this hair can't be tamed. So then I will go in with my trusted Moroccan, what is it? Moroccan Curl Defining Cream. So I really like this product. It is on the pricier side for me and my, um, my taste, <laughs> my budget. <laughs> but basically I like to use this because it's just such a good product. I don't know if you guys remember with my old hair care routine, um, I don't even know how many years ago, I used to rant and rave about the Not Your Mother's Kinky Moves Curl Defining Cream, I think it was called. And that's still a good one, but I think that that one, for one, is really hard to find. Here in Europe, they for sure don't have it. And two, um, it is a little bit of a stickier formula, so it kind of just makes your hair feel a little bit weighed down. So with this one, I feel like this one is really, really good because it's not sticky at all. It's very creamy. It smells absolutely divine, and I love this. And it is expensive, which is why I don't use it every single time I wash my hair. I like to kind of save it just in case I have like a special occasion where I want to be extra cute in my hair, li in my hair life. So. Yeah, but I love this. It works really, really good. And in terms of how I put it on, I mean, basically like any product, I will just first put the oil on, like I said, and then I'll put the hair cream throughout my whole hair and just kind of put that all in. So after I have those products in, um, I will take one half of my hair and it's kind of weird. I'll like pull it all like this and then I'll bunch it and kind of like do this weird cupping motion. I don't even know, like scooping it all up. And then I'll put it, oh, my earring came with it. <laughs> I'll put it all like this kind of go like this so that it kind of gets scrunched and then I'll bring it all down and then I will again go like this to try to yeah I don't know like help the curls out and help them come back to life and be up and perky and full of volume you know we're always looking for that volume <laughs> honestly I don't need to do that because even if I was to brush my hair completely straight and let it air dry my hair does still dry like this naturally I also get that a lot my hair is naturally like this exactly but I just like to try to make it look as nice as I can, as healthy as I can, and as, you know, voluminous and fabulous as I can. <laughs> so yes, this is the technique that I use. And then once I do that to both sides of my head, I will flip all of my hair over and I will diffuse it with my diffuser. I've never had any like specific blow dryer that I've been keen to, but I just kind of buy whichever one is not that expensive, not that cheap. And I just use that. And honestly, not sure if this is the best, um, but since I only use it one, to two times a week when I wash my hair. It, I feel like I don't have too much heat damage to my hair, so yes. But when I'm blow drying my hair or diffusing my hair, I am focusing it mainly on the roots because I like to give my roots as much volume as I can because that's what I feel like makes everything not look so triangular, which I kind of do look right now, but it's okay. That is how I style my hair on wash days. And then moving on to non-wash days. So if I'm just taking a body shower, I don't wanna get my hair wet at all. I'll just put my hair up into a bun so it stays out of the water. And yes, it does get a tiny bit frizzy because I like to shower practically volcano mode, CB likes to say. So it does get a little bit frizzy just from being in the hot hair for so long. But um, either way, I don't get my hair wet every day. Like I said, I only wash my hair two times a week around. And when I'm not washing it, after I get out of the shower, I let everything down and I have to sleep a certain way in order to keep the curls somewhat okay. For example, today is um, a non-wash hair day, so I slept on my curls last night and I woke up um, this morning and this is what my hair looks like. It's not as like nice as it could be compared to day one hair. Um, some people argue that day two hair is like the better hair. Depends for me because it really depends on how I sleep. So mainly I just, with curls, you know, if you lay on them, they take these weird kinky forms and then it doesn't look as nice. So pretty much for me, I just have to take all of my hair and pretty much just 
it sounds really weird. I'll lay on the pillow and then I'll move all of my hair out like so, which is a weird demonstration, but I won't lay on any of my hair so that it doesn't take on those strange like kinky curl forms. A lot of curly girls will use like a silk kind of bonnet thing or they'll put their hair up in a loose ponytail or something like that. And I've tried all of those ways, but honestly nothing works as well for me as just moving my hair up and away from me laying on it. Um, because otherwise I get like little ponytail kinks or my hair will take weird forms if I put it into a bun or whatever else. So that's what I like to do. I just move it out of the way and it works the best. Anyways, keeping that in mind, I then, once I get out of the shower, will take all of my hair down and kind of assess the situation and see if it's like okay enough to leave it down or if it's not okay and we have to do some sort of up style. So basically a lot of the times I do these up styles, I do low buns, I do a ponytail or whatever, something super easy because usually I'm going to work and I don't really care as much what my hair looks like. Um, but then if it is a down day and it looks like it could be sort of okay to leave it down, I will go in again with my hair oil, um, but this time I like to go in with my Gizu dry oil. So this is first of all the most beautiful aesthetic packaging ever, amazing looks like actual honey. I love this product, it smells amazing too. It's a dry oil, like I said, so this works really well on dry hair. Um, so I like to put this in just to give it a little bit more shine, a little bit more health back into my hair, even though I didn't wash it. And then after I use that, I go in with the John Frieda Frizz Ease Mousse. So this is a curling mousse. Yeah, I, I bought this honestly because I was trying to replace um, the Moroccan product. Not replace it because they're two totally different things, but I was trying to find different products that I could use for my hair because I still like to always test out new products just to see what works really the best for my hair. Um, so I got this and pretty much I like to use this mainly now on my second day hair. So if I'm not getting my hair wet or even if I am, I'll use this to put into the ends of my hair and sort of the top to tame to tame the frizz and this works really well. Also smells really really good. So I'll just put a tiny bit of this in the palm of my hand, rub it together so the foam doesn't like stay foamy and I will just smooth out the top of my hair and then I'll put it again and scrunch into the bottoms of my hair. So that is what I do for that. And then some days if I do get my hair wet but I'm not washing it, so hopefully that doesn't confuse people, um, I will just get after the shower, I'll come out of the shower and get just the ends of my hair wet. So again, I'll bring it all to the front in, ha in two halves and I'll get pretty much just the end half of my hair wet and not completely wet, just somewhat damp so that it can kind of help reform more curls again. And then I will, um, sometimes I'll just put in my hair serum. So again, like I was mentioning earlier, sometimes I'll just put this in and let it naturally dry. Other times I'll go in with the John Frieda Frizzies again, and I'll just make it all seem really nice and um, new. <laughs> and that works really, really well. That's something that I've learned within the past couple of months since I moved because I just didn't have the time or the desire really to wash my hair as often to make it look as nice. And I was getting sick of putting my hair back and making it like it felt frizzy at the top and all that kind of stuff. So that has really helped me also with my hair and keeping it the longevity of the curls looking so nice for more than just a day or two. So yeah, that's definitely a huge staple for my hair care routine now as well. And lastly, I wanted to talk about the haircut that I get. So I've actually never had a stylist specifically. I've always just kind of gone to get a cheaper haircut and never really cared as much, but luckily I found a really, really great person here in Lansut uh, and her name is Alex. She works at Harum Lansut and she's kind of like a curly hair specialist because not a lot of people know how to deal with curly hair, me included, so I pretty much just go to her and she's been doing an amazing job. I've gone to her two times and I'm going to go to her again in a few weeks and I'm really, really excited. And yeah, it's just really nice to have somebody to do your hair that you trust because I've never had that before and it makes it so much more fun and it makes it easier each time you go in because they know your hair, they know what to do, they know what you like, they know what works. So it's really great and pretty much what I tell her to do is I don't really care about the length anymore because she cut it really really short the last time and I actually ended up loving it. So I am probably going to do the same in a few weeks but basically I just tell her get rid of all the dead, get rid of all the damage, get rid of all the dryness and just cut it as short as it needs to be to be healthy again. And then I make sure to just have her put some longer layers in. I don't know if you guys can tell but I like it to just have layers to give it more volume, give it more va va boom and it just makes it feel so much fresher and healthier and like very 
bouncy. I don't know. <laughs> and then of course I always like to have sort of like face framing bangs. So I always get like these shorter pieces up at the front here. I don't even know if you can really tell, but I just like to have those. They're kind of fun. And like sometimes for up styles, it's kind of nice to have those two like little pieces dangling down. So yeah, I like those too. And of course she always does, I believe like a deep conditioning treatment because curly hair is always dry. So anything you can do to add more hydration and moisture into the hair for curly hair is just great. So I think she always does that too, which also I can tell when we leave the salon, it just always feels so fresh and new. So guys, that is the end of this video. I'm really hoping that I covered everything. I'm really hoping because it was honestly really hard to think of, even with my notes, it was really hard to think of everything I wanted to say. So I hope I covered everything. I hope I answered all of your questions. If not, please leave questions, comments, concerns down below in the comments because I would love to answer them. And maybe I missed so much information that I'll have to make another video. So just let me know down there and I'll get to get back to that or, you know, answer somehow. <laughs> Either way, thank you guys so much for sticking around for this video. Hopefully it wasn't too long, but hopefully it was informative, like I said. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel because it really does help. I know that I'm super inconsistent, but I really, really want to change that. So don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well. Um, I'm definitely on Instagram every day, way more often than YouTube. So if you guys want to stick around and see more of the behind the scenes of my life, kind of, you can check that out over here. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.